All right, Rasheed Wallace says the last time he was in Detroit, he said the Palace, where it's Little Caesars Arena now, was for Rip Hamilton's retirement night. I think that was February 2017, if my memory serves me correctly. And he said he ain't fucked with the Pistons since. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And it seems that uh, Tom Gores doesn't have a lot of good relationships with a lot of former Bill Davidson players. Bill Davidson was the former owner. He died. He owned the Tampa Bay Lightning as well. And then his wife sold the team against his wishes. Why couldn't it have been Martha? Why? Why couldn't Martha sell when uh, Mr. Ford died? Um, same thing with the Buffalo Bills and his and his uh, family. As soon as he died, he told his wife not to sell the team. She sold it expeditiously. So, um, appreciate everybody for checking in. Motor City Sports Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our Detroit Piston uh, Talk playlist. I do appreciate all the love that everybody giving the channel. The best way to donate and show love is to share the video. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. So, make sure you do that. And don't forget, I have a whole other channel. My main channel is Goodfellas Sports TV. Talk about everything under the sun, sports, music, news, entertainment, smidge of the politics. Don't try to get too political out here. But I'll put it on the screen. Uh, Rasheed Wilder say, he ain't messing with you. And Tom Gore's got a horrible track record with uh, former Pistons. I mean, he did retire Rip Jersey. I think he was, I mean, that was a no-brainer for him to retire some of these other dudes' jerseys. But, um, you know, I mean... You know, uh, him and Joe Dumars fell out because he fired Joe Dumars. And, uh, you know, he made him fire Maurice Cheeks, I believe. Wh whatever they fall out about. Um, Isaiah showed up um, last time. He allowed people there. But, you know, Tom Gore's got to be able to have that pipeline to his former players. Because the Pistons got a lot of iconic players, believe it or not. I mean, he'd have Vinny Johnson back. You know, Vinny Johnson worth a half a billion dollars. Uh he need to bring, uh, you know, uh, Joe D. Need to get back good with Joe D. Greg Hill. I mean, a lot of these dudes got a lot of wisdom, and they can do a lot of things locally um, for the city of Detroit. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, to me, that was a direct message on Tom Gores that he don't take care of his older players, so or his older players to help build a foundation. And she was a, he wasn't so much a foundational player like uh, Tribuca and. You know, Lanier and Isaiah, but pretty much he is the foundation of Detroit um, with Ben and Rip. And people remember when we traded for Rasheed from Atlanta. He played in Atlanta for a day. It was like it was like championship or bust. She made us a, a true championship contender. We was champ Eastern Conference champion contenders, but she put us over the hump. And uh, he even had his own, you know, Detroit Piston type Nike shoe. She Detroit messed with Sheed tough. So Tom Gores need to get it together with his with his past Piston players. We know you didn't own the team when a lot of these dudes play, but you know we I could have told you I could have told you if I knew like she felt that way. I probably could have told you that Chauncey probably wasn't going to even come to Detroit, especially with Ed Stefanowski kind of being above him. Tom Gores don't seem to have no respect for the former players or the former legendary players here. I seen Chauncey at the Big Three. Um, you know, so Chauncey still mess with the D. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't know why Tom Gores don't have a better relationship with, with former players that came play here. And probably one of the reasons is he doesn't understand the, the legacy or the history of the Detroit Pistons. Um, and that's going to be hard. Bill Davidson understood it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, he just, he's he not a sports guy. He's a, he's a entrepreneur, whatever he make his, whatever field he make his money in. Graduated from Michigan State. People don't, most people don't know he was born in Israel. He don't really have, he out of touch and you know when you out of touch you should be out of sight you know what I'm saying you shouldn't be making too many basketball decisions um, in my opinion you shouldn't he don't know what Detroit is what, what Detroit basketball is truly about but he's trying to put a winner on on the court but it's just sad bro it's sad that he didn't sever so much so many relationships and he should have a a, 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 a night where he brings she back and. Obviously, next season might not be the season with the coronavirus. Or he should tap in with Sheed and Rip and Chauncey. He should hire Tayshaun as the assistant general manager and pay him a little bit more than he getting paid in with the Grizzlies. And, you know, I felt that he should have hired Chauncey Billups as the assistant manager. Um, I felt that, you know, but I felt that they got the right guy in Troy Weaver. We know Chauncey wasn't taking no assistant job. Um, it just seemed that he don't have a rapport, man, with, with the former players. And, you know, 
one thing he could do is, is put a statue out there by Isaiah Thomas outside of Little Caesars Arena. That's a start. He can call Joe Dumar and say, you know what, I was wrong. That's a start. Or, or how can we, you know, patch this back up? This ain't no female-female interaction. Females hold on to stuff when they get angry. And they usually, you know, especially today, they too prideful. They they, always, they never want to admit that they wrong. We are men. We can admit that you was wrong with Joe Dumars. You know what I'm saying? You could patch things up. So, um, like I said before, Bill Lambeer, Vinnie Johnson, you know, but they ain't that whatever she feeling some type of way, that's on time for So, like I said before, you always want to keep your foundational players. You know, the Pistons wouldn't be as valuable as they are. As they are. Without Rip, without Sheed, without Joe, without Isaiah, without Vinny, without Bill. Without them eras of the Pistons, and they wouldn't have been relevant in the 90s without Grant neither. Without them Pistons right there, and many, many more, Tom Gores, you probably would have never even thought about buying the Pistons. Real talk. The Pistons would have had no value. Now, the Lions are a different situation. No matter how bad the Lions is, people support the Lions, and that's the God honest truth. So, um... Yeah, she feels some type of way, man. I hope we can uh, he can patch it up with Sheed and and they can sit down and chop it up, man. But uh, I don't even know what the whole issue is about. And I think it's not being recognized by Tom Gores and paying homage to Sheed and a lot of the older, older players. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. You can uh, check my playlist. I'll be Detroit Piston playlist um, talk and then one Piston one on one is live stream. So let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time share the videos. We gone.